Um, but yeah. the, the, the Chandler, we didn't actually finish talking about Casey and Chandler. We kind of just went off on the tangent. But who's you fa- who would you favour to win that fight? You know, I was going to say, I would say straight away, Michael Chandler, Michael Chandler, because as nice of a person he's as, as well put together, as much of he's a really good gentleman, he's a, a real gentleman. Can, in my opinion, you know, he's uh, speaks well, he's articulate, and carries himself with some, with some class. But when he's fighting, and this is a comment someone made on one of my older podcasts, and they said in the cage he's an animal. You know, on his stand up's really good. He can, you know, his punching his uh, shots are ferocious on the ground if he gets if he gets you know like a what's the word I can use like in a triangle or guillotine you're in trouble because his rest his ground game's really good so he's a well rounded mixed martial arts fighter. But Justin Gaethje knows has been known for, to have some good knockout knockout power as well. Um so I would have said Michael Chan but I think for this one I'm gonna be like kind of on the fence um i just have to but if i really had to put my money on it if i was really forced to make a bet make a decision i would go with michael chandler i go opposite <laughs> and the reason being oh sorry go ahead oh go ahead well, okay I still very still feel really nervous on making these predictions because I'm concerned about people calling me an idiot that I don't know what I'm talking about. But Michael Chandler, because of yeah, his uh, he's an animal in the cage. He's just, his punching, his stand up is ferocious, dangerous. His ground game is also really good as well. Um, Justin Gaethje, good, but not as doesn't have that sort of firepower that Michael Chandler has. Though Justin Gage, he's known to be have really, to be really really good with his hands, but why do you um why did you go? He's, you go he's, a, he's, a, he's a wrestling champion though as well. He just doesn't use Ch- it. Gage. Really? Yeah, he I doesn't use it. He, he doesn't he doesn't like using it. Um, and out of his twenty four fights, I think twenty one, or is, he's got twenty three wins and twenty one of them are knockouts. Um. I think he's gone to a decision. I think 2014 was the last time he's gone to a decision. Don't quote me on that. But I think that might have been, yeah, the last time he's gone to a decision. Um, his three losses are Dustin, Khabib, and Eddie Alvarez. Like, really? They're his three. That's Justin Gacy's only three losses. Let me check that. I think he's like 24 and 3 or something, or 21 something and 3. Yeah, you're right. Not that I doubted you, but God, <laughs> just three reds here. Everything else is green. Yeah, it wasn't on for he faced Eddie out. Every, I think he lost to Eddie first, didn't he? And then he lost to yeah. Dustin and then Khabib. Because after Dustin, I think he bet James Vick. Would I be right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, you've done your homework. I sh- I need to do that for doing this podcast, yeah. It's not. Well, it's, it's because I would have been watching at the time as well. So, And because he's such an exciting fighter, they call him the highlight. Justin, the highlight gagey. So, um. That's why I know because I would have been watching at the time and I liked I I quite like him because he's quite exciting. Um, but he's evolved since he started since he lost to Dustin. He's more measured. He's more calm now. He's not swinging wildly going in. He's picking his shots. He's still hitting you hard, but he's picking them and he's not rushing you. He's waiting. Um, like he's being cowboy and after I think. Uh, he absolutely schooled. Did you see what he done to Tony? He absolutely schooled Tony Ferguson. Like. I don't know how Tony Ferguson stayed standing during that fight. But that's why I go for him, because he's got the wrestling background as well, but he doesn't use it. He just I, he just doesn't use it. He says he doesn't want to use it. He says it's boring. 
Because he wants to unpop. It's says, boring. He wants... Sorry? No, I he said. He, he says it's boring. Yeah, he wants to go out and put on a show. Stand and bang. But his wrestling didn't do much good against Khabib. Khabib took him down fairly easy. and uh, yeah, yeah. But then Khabib's another animal. Like, <laughs> like, like welterweights and middleweights say that Khabib takes him down at will. Light heavyweights say Khabib can take him down that he just feels stronger than he should be for his size. So, like I said, they're his only three losses. So you've got Eddie, Justin and Khabib. Justin, who should, in my opinion, be the lightweight champion. Only he took the money fight. Um, Khabib, who was undefeated, and then Alvarez, who as well was was elite at one stage as well, and who was Michael Chandler has faced as well and lost to, and beaten. I think they're one and one. Or no, I think Michael Chandler might be two and one with Eddie. Wow. Okay, now I understand the reason why you would side with Joss and Gaethje. I'm just looking at both the results, both their MMA uh, records. Yeah, um, Gaethje has a far more impressive record than Chandler does. My God. Chandler has six losses, 22 wins. Gaethje has, well, just three losses, 22 wins. Yeah, um, and like, look who the three of them were. But then again, uh, Chandler's aren't bad competition either. You've got one of the Pitbull brothers, um, yeah. Eddie Alvarez. Some guy beat him twice, and he kept asking Dana White to bring him to the UFC to beat him again. Um, I can't remember his name. He bet him earlier on. He bet him twice. Um, but it's a saying that like it could like. What's the saying? Everyone has a puncher's chance. He could catch him. Like, for me, I thought he was very close to winning the lightweight title against Charles Oliveira. I, I thought the fight was actually going to be stopped. Um, I just think since Gage, Gage's last loss, he's matured. He, he doesn't go in for the kill <clears throat> as quickly as he would because when he was doing that with Alvarez and with Dustin Poirier, they punished him. Whereas before, he like in a World Series of Fighting, he might not have been fighting... I'm not saying the bad fighters, but the, the competition of the level that's in the UFC of Alvarez and thing. Um, so since then, he's he's matured. He doesn't rush in. He's more measured, and uh, he picks his shots, and they're still heavy. I still I I I see that being a first round finish. Either way, I'm going to predict Justin, but I think it, it could go. It could easily go either way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I can see when you say first round finish. Yeah, I, I can see exactly what you mean, because both. I mean, Gage for year has what well, has looking at his record, a lot more wins and losses, and um, losses were against top people in the sport. But at the same time, um, he said he's far more calculated and far more strategic with his how he on the offensive, on the offense, but. Um, Chandler still is known for that fight, that knockout, that you know, just the counter punch, um, counter striking power in the cage. Yes, it could go either way. That's what I'm saying. It could. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I would say Gacy. What's interesting about what it is, though, um, the both champions from outside of the organization between Bellator and Bellator and World Series of Fighting. When Justin Gacy came in. I didn't think there was as much pushback against him as there seemed like with Chandler, it seems to be some weird thing that UFC fans don't really like. Chandler? Yeah. But okay, hold on. At the beginning, when he came in, I think even this was confirmed, his words be he quotes what Dane White said to him that while well, you've come into an organization, blah blah blah, this and that, don't know what you're doing, but the fans seem to like it. Now, is it probably because I might have things now changed because I'm talking about time. This is back in January, February, whereby he came to the organization and then he beat Dan Hooker back at UFC 257. 257. That was a good start for his, um, for his career in the UFC. But I think his next fight against, um, who was it? Charles Alvarez. 
Uh -huh, yeah, he lost. For the title, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's, see, I'm a lot on Twitter. And on Twitter, well, Twitter is a fucking toxic place as it is. It's a sewer. It is. It's hot, like, you find the worst of the worst down there. Um, but there seems to be a lot of hate for Chandler, and I don't know why. Maybe he comes, maybe it's because sometimes he comes across kind of arrogant. Um, really? With that thing with him and Justin Gacy back and forth, there was something he said, and I was just like, oh, he's a bit, he sounds like a bit of a smug prick. But I like him. He comes across, like you said, usually most of the times, all the time, bar that, he comes across quite well. He's well spoken. Like I said, you would never guess he was a fighter. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. Carries himself well, plenty of low class, comes from a good background. I mean, his wife's a doctor. Yeah. So I don't know. There seems to be a lot of hate from. It's interesting as well because two of them were champions outside. And then if one of them ends up getting the lightweight belt, because I would say whoever wins this will go on to face whoever the champion. I think this is a title eliminator. So I think whoever wins this will go on to fight for the title. Then again, whoever may have it at the time, whether Justin or Dustin fights Charles. Or and wins, or or does Charles keep it? If Charles keeps it, do they do with Charles Chandler too? If he wins, I don't know it's going to be a good fight for as long as it lasts. But I can't see it going past the round. I can't. I can definitely not see it going to a decision. And saying that now, it'll probably go to a decision. But I can't see it. Like like I said, I think Justin Gaethje, his last decision was 2014. So we we'll have to wait and see. But I think it's going to be an early finish for whoever. Like I said, I'm I'm the only. Like I say I'm more kind of. If you had to put a bet on it, who would I put it on? I put it on Gaethje. Um, but that could easily change.